just a few miles from this building here in New York City, Brooklyn, New York. A proposed dual language Arabic school set to open this September. And it's got a lot of people upset here in New York. New York Sun editorial has referred to the school as a madrasa, which is an Islamic religious school. Others have questioned the background and the beliefs of the school's principal. Supporters and the city say that this is just another case of Islamophobia. The school will use approved curriculum, approved textbooks, and a diverse group of teachers to, quote, prepare students of diverse backgrounds for success in increasingly global and independent, interdependent society. So which is it? I have to be honest with you, I've been wanting to do this story for months. I, we have been calling and calling and calling, and no one will talk to us. Residents, are they being overly concerned simply because the language is Arabic, which is un unreasonable? Or do they have valid points that the city needs to address? I'd like some answers. We've asked the school's principal to come on over and over, but she has declined. We have to settle now for the critic side of the story from Pamela Hall, one of the organizers of the Stop the Madrasa Coalition. Pamela, uh, you apparently have been having a hard time getting people to answer simple questions as well. Let's start with the principal. I read an article where she would not answer the question if uh, Arabs were uh, responsible for 9-11. Oh, absolutely. That was one of the... Um original uh, situations that we know about with her, that she was going out teaching sensitivity classes after 9-11. I think that was at Cobble School, uh, Cobble Hill School. And she, um, she said, no, you must not call them Muslims, you must not call them Arabs. That would create a backlash. We can only call them terrorists. Uh, no, she's an apologist, and it's clear that's what she is. Um, has she gone on record? I mean, I, I'm convinced that... Um you separate politics from Islam and things become a lot better. You empower women um, in, uh, in Islam and things, uh, the whole world changes. Sharia, uh, Sharia law is a frightening, frightening thing, especially for women. Is she on the record talking about Sharia law at all? Well, one of our Stop uh, the Madrasa members did meet her at a meeting when she opened her uh, Yemeni association and did ask her about how was she going to be teaching the cultural side of um, the Arabic language and asked her about Sharia, and she wouldn't even answer it. She said she didn't know what Sharia was. How disingenuous. I mean, at least answer the question. Okay. So if this is an Arabic school uh, that's just teaching the language Arabic, uh, why don't they just, instead of starting a new school, why don't we just teach Arabic in schools? Wonderful idea. That's exactly what we would like to ask. We can't even get a straight answer from Mayor Bloomberg, from Chancellor Klein. We just get brushed away. And of course, we have a, a large school system where we could be putting Arab, uh, the Arabic language as an elective in the schools. We could open the door to learning Arabic to our American students. We still want to know who are her students. She has not filed any of the papers she's supposed to file. Well, we understand we that there is no enrollment so far, that there, there hasn't been any, any children that have enrolled. Depends on who you talk to. She tries to say that uh, they've capped it and that it's a uh, full enrollment, but we don't even know what that means. She's not filed any of her papers. We don't know what her curricula is. We don't know who her uh, faculty is. We don't know who the students are. I want to know, we want to know, are those students Arabic speakers? And if they're Arabic speaking students, why do they even need the school? Shouldn't they be assimilated? Okay. What, why? Wh I mean, a lot of people will say you're the reason why we need a school like this because you know, it's just your hate mongering um, and your constant questioning and and I, I guess that you know they would paint you as somebody who believes the worst of Arabic speakers and not the best of Arabic speakers. How would you respond to that? Well, that's not our criticism. Our criticism is the use of the tax dollar. We're asking why is all the new equipment that's going to be given to a brand new school like KGIA, new computers and a new gym and a new cafeteria, why isn't that being given to the students who already are in that school, our students in Borum Hill? Why are they not being given that equipment and then create the elective? Let us learn learn Arabic. We have nothing against learning Arabic. Pamela, thank you very much. I would like to uh, uh, put a plea out to the other side. I would love to interview the principal. Uh, you know, why, why can't we have an open conversation about this school and get down to the bottom of it so we can put aside all the fears?